Kirk Caselli wasn't just a really talented guy on a motorcycle. He was an amazing person as well. He was an inspiration for me. The number one plate for Kirk Caselli. Probably the best dude I knew, just as a person. Kurt had a lot of long, long-term friendships. I knew how much kind stuff he did for others, and I thought, how in the world did someone have this much time to affect this many people's lives? He was really, really stoked on life and family and the future, and obviously an amazing rider, but everybody knows that part. You know, it wasn't too long ago that we lost Kurt. It's still so weird every morning you wake up. Think, oh, damn. Unfortunately, with motorcycles, we lose a few of the greatest. And so it's been, you know, almost a year since Kurt's been gone. If there's something positive that comes out of it and it's this foundation, I think Kurt would be proud of that. You know what the Kirk Caselli Foundation is doing is fantastic. It's really the most direct thing we can do to help our own sport and help our own industry. It's a three-pronged mission of making things safer before the race, during the race, and after the race. It's cool that this bike is going to benefit the Kirk Caselli Foundation. He always wanted to build a custom KTM, and it was something that I, I think we were going to do together. We're just stoked to help Caselli's legacy just live on and to help people. No better excuse to build a motorcycle than that. We start taking this thing apart, dude. I can't stand here and not have a wrench in my hand. Today, we are taking this 450 KTM motocross bike, which is a bike that Kurt rode. We're turning it into something that is inspired by On Any Sunday and bringing that into this modern day motocross bike. We need to blend these two. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge to deconstruct this thing and still keep the heart of what this bike's about. What can we do to take this thing back to the 60s and take this thing back to really like the soul of motocross. The thing is trying to keep it working well while getting the look, keep the function in the bike. So you can still go out and ride it and churn it and jump it. The problem, Cam, is the width of this zone right here. If you squint your eyes enough, you can kind of start to see it. It's obviously a lot of work and to try and jam it all into like a three week period is pretty gnarly, but we really want to get it done for the premiere. Here to like here. Five to five and a half inch with a roll on either side. It Just make, drops, it, a, it, make it a little bit longer. Five more hours. That's kind of cool. Oh man, this thing goes together good. Riding it's really the end reason for it to exist. It's not just to build a pretty bike. It's like, let's go ride out of this thing, you know, and that's really what it's about for us. Slow her up. I just want to like have whoever rides it get off it and have a huge smile on their face. I think Kurt would dig the bike. I don't know if anyone else would get a chance to ride it. He'd be like jumping over us right now. Be riding around here, hitting whoops and hitting the sand dunes. I think he's probably looking down with a big smile on his face. To be able to build this bike for him, it's like a feeling like I'm still close to him, which is cool. That's what's sometimes great about motorcycles, even when people are past. It's like this, this memory, you know? It all rotates back to Kurt. He just did it for the love, the sheer love of it. It's guys like that that really make motorcycling what it is. He's just gonna live on forever as a legend because he had that ability that you can't find. He left his mark, you know, his personality was just one you didn't forget. My goofy kid. <laughs>